It sounds like North Korean state TV, but what it says? You're no better than a dog, Kim Jong-un. That's what greeted viewers of the North Korean government website Uri Minzogiri, along with pictures of Kim Jong-un in drag. Somber song showing Kim Jong-il drinking wine while North Korean children starve. On Uri Minzogiri's Twitter account, links to this image, a wanted poster showing Kim Jong-un dressed as an obese pig with exposed chest hair and a Mickey Mouse tattoo on his gut, calling him a threat to world peace. The North Korean Twitter account blared the word hacked, and it showed an image of a mask that's a favorite symbol of the hacking group Anonymous. <laughs> it sounds totally like a North Korean announcer. Yeah. You can't help but laugh, says information okay. security expert Sung Ju Kim. But this is just the latest shot in an ongoing and very serious cyber war between the two Koreas that goes far beyond just the humiliation of a leader. Which is the bigger threat, a conventional war, a nuclear war? or this cyber war. Cyber the purpose of a cyber war is to disable the enemy's ability to fight, says Professor Kim. If the cyber war continues, there's a high possibility it could lead to a conventional war. In a country that claims to be the most wired in the world, South Korea has been under increasing attack. Just last month, a major cyber assault knocked South Korean television networks offline and froze business at banks. That's why Seoul is building a cyber army. These are the soldiers, learning to break code and understand what they call North Korean cyber terrorism. We can't show you their faces because many of them will eventually work with the South Korean military on the cyber front lines, where they'll face off with cyber soldiers from the north. As amusing as this is, there is growing concern among security experts in Seoul that because this was so successful and so funny, that North Korea may become enraged and launch a massive counter-cyber attack against South Korea. Kyung-law, CNN, Seoul.